breastfeeding has been and continues to be a hot button health topic. Everyone has an opinion when it comes to nursing. This latest news story will undoubtedly spark a few more. A documented medical first. A transgender woman reportedly has the ability to breastfeed her partner's baby by producing her own milk with the help of experimental drugs and hormones. New York doctors prescribed the 30-year-old transgender woman a regimen of drugs, including an anti-nausea medication that's banned in the US. Within a month, the woman could express droplets of milk. In three months, she was producing eight ounces a day. The couple's child is now six months old and doctors say developing properly. Is this new type of experimental breast milk just as healthy as milk produced by biologically born women? Dr. Funk, first of all, can you kind of clarify what's going on here and how this is even possible? Absolutely. So it may surprise some of you to realize that we all started out as female, including Dr. Travis and Orton. So in other words, in utero. <laughs> Way to go, girls. So, uh, it's okay. <laughs> so we all started off as the fairer sex, Dr. Yes. Funk. That's what you're saying. Clearly we do. So in... In utero, we all start out female, and about the sixth week of life, an embryo's testosterone will kick in and differentiate that embryo into a baby boy. So, aha, that's why breasts stop developing, but the nipples were already there. So that explains why men have nipples. They just started way back then and stuck around and out. So when you enter into our transgender male to female transition patient here, what she did about six years before wanting to breastfeed this newborn was take estrogen and progesterone, the feminizing hormones that spike during a girl's puberty phase, and spironolactone, which is a testosterone inhibitor. So in this way, she already developed that breast tissue that was in its tiny little form back from being in utero. So she developed breasts, and then when her partner was five months pregnant, decided that she wanted to breastfeed their newborn because the partner didn't want to. At that point, they started increasing the estrogen and progesterone to further develop the breast tissue and added a drug called domperidone. This makes your brain release prolactin, which is the natural hormone that creates milk production. She did this in conjunction with pumping to stimulate the nipples and milk production, and within a month was making droplets, and by the baby's birth was making eight ounces a day. She exclusively breastfed that newborn for the first six weeks of life. Is there a risk with this? No risk to child, but taking estrogen and progesterone carries with it potential risks of blood clots and strokes. Um, and then eventually breast cancer, because this is someone who will continue on these feminine hormones for a lifetime. Well, I can think of some interesting applications if this continues to go forward, like, you know, even for heterosexual couples, now they can share the feeding duties? I mean, that's a possibility here. That is not gonna happen. Let me tell you, any kind of manly man out there, when you take estrogen and progesterone, besides developing breasts, you are going to have minimal facial hair, a higher voice, a loss in your muscle mass. Mm. I don't think that's the look your husband was going. No, not great side effects. Well, and I also <laughs> think it highlights it is when you start messing around with hormones, you have to, this has to be something you're in concert with your doctor. You know exactly what and why they're doing what they're yeah. doing. This is a pretty heavy duty move. Yeah. Taking the not, hormones and yeah. then more drugs to stimulate your pituitary to form. Well, and, and this segment started with our talking about cancer mm. and, and Dr. Fung just alluded to a potential increased risk of cancer. I just yeah. think, you know, obviously this has to be done in a way that is, is is the right way mm. but i mean fascinating because a lot of people here at the show are even trying to figure out is this possible but clearly it is you know what else is possible dr funk what is that you're the smartest breast surgeon i know because you are yeah uh -huh. thanks so much for being with us